after Marketplace investigates police pour in. The move company bosses that we've been watching in our investigation taken away by a police investigation. Hundreds of charges. This is a criminal matter. Customers who feel ripped off. People like this should have to answer to the highest extent of the law. We show you how the movers operate. They charged this young woman a lot more than they said they were going to charge her. Yeah. Who gets hurt? Our whole lives are in there. We're back on the case, demanding answers. Do you have anything to say to these people? Anything at all? The action-packed marketplace you don't want to miss. We're watching a major police operation unfold, targeting kingpins in the moving industry. We have to stay back here on public property, but in there, you see the police action going down. Two men are hauled out in handcuffs. We know them well. Before these arrests, Marketplace was investigating those behind multiple moving companies. My life fell apart because of them. Ardalan Garagosli is one of many customers who call them scammers. I just wanted to tell them like what they did to me, the, da the damage they caused to my family and me personally. But to tell his story and show how we've investigated these movers before, we need to rewind. All the way to earlier this year. All right, here we go. We've got these trackers, gonna turn it on, put it inside, hidden one of our boxes, see what happens. Back then, we were tracking movers after hearing rip-off stories from you, companies that pitch one price, then inflate once they've got your stuff. So they plan to charge us $1,500 to move it, but they also say that we will pay based on how much it weighs. If it weighs less, we pay less. As our hidden camera team watches the movers arrive, Turn left to Highway 400 North. We're hitting the road to Owen Sound. Hi, Sherry. Hi, David. Hi, David. To hear about Sherry Watson's mess of a move, she hires Safebound Moving to move her four-bedroom house from Brampton to Sudbury. Our stuff kind of went MIA. Safebound estimates her move at 6,000 pounds based on what they call an industry average. They ask her to fill out their inventory spreadsheet if she wants to guarantee her quote. She sends her own list. But she says during the move, there are weight problems. They gave me the option to go to the weigh scale. They said they overloaded the truck. And if they went there, they said they would make them take the stuff off of the truck and throw it out there. So she agrees to a new weight estimate or flat rate. They said, OK, sign here. And I thought he had done me a huge favor by knocking it down so they didn't have to throw out my things. By the end, SafeBound's weight estimate goes up more than 500%. And only, she says, when they have all her stuff, does the cost jump from the original estimate of about $2,000 with tax. Our quote that we had been estimated um, increased uh, more than $20,000. $20,000. They're now demanding 11 times the original quote. What did you think? I was just, I was in disbelief at first. I was convinced that it was a mistake. Somebody hit the wrong numbers in the keyboard. But they had your stuff at this point. They had our stuff at this point. Um, all I got was invoices and a demand to pay, or they were going to destroy my things. I think it's a complete scam. I mean, how you can grossly underestimate something like that is just beyond me. What Sherry didn't know? Moving company complaints would reach Constable Chris Long of the Toronto Police, too. This was definitely the biggest thing I've, I've ever been involved in. He starts investigating Doan Chellock, who is listed as the director of Safebound Moving, and his business partner, Jamal Oster. Together, police say they operated more than a dozen moving companies. So we're alleging that the company obtained the victim's belongings under false pretenses as they were given a quote, they sent a deposit, and then after that, they were, they were given a much higher price that they would have to pay. We hear from people who feel they've been scammed, who've called the police. Sometimes they've been told it's a civil matter. That didn't happen this time. What was different? This is a criminal matter. Consumer protection is designed to govern really legitimate businesses, not designed to uh, govern criminality, which I believe that these moving frauds are completely criminal. 
SafeBound says Sherry's agreed to the charges, and she was told the cost would increase because she had more stuff than they expected. Sherry sees it differently and refuses to pay, leaving her to live without her stuff in an RV for months. And this is coming on top of what? I was diagnosed. Sorry. I can't even say it. but I do have a terminal cancer. Sherry believes they're holding her belongings for ransom. Our whole lives are in there. There's some very important paperwork that we need to, um, to take care of things that we need to. Hi there. Hi. Good, how are you? Thank you. On our moving day, Roadway's team of two is courteous and careful. Go back in with you. Yeah. Well, thank you. So, good packing? Four guys, yeah. Yes. <laughs> they first estimate 1,000 pounds based on what they again call an industry standard. When we send our list, that changes to 3,000. But once everything is loaded, out comes a new contract, and they're claiming a new weight. Can you write here 4,000? Get your signature. 4,000 means flat rate. You see the pound? Flat rate. 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds? Based on what? I think you don't understand. How about this? Yeah. You confirm it's one bed. Office bills charged for one bed yeah. minimum 5,000 pounds. Okay. As they leave, our undercover producer doesn't know the final cost. Lawyer Rocco Scocco is hearing a lot about moves these days, including from his client, Sherry. Their theory is that they got her to agree to a flat rate. Her stuff's already in the truck. What is she going to expect it to do to tell them to unload the truck? It's a high pressure situation, so she, she was not able to renegotiate. We first met Ardalan in Nova Scotia after his move with SafeBound from Toronto to Halifax. We had a nice Persian rock, so I had to buy this on Kijiji. Most of the stuff you see, I had to buy on Kijiji, and which cost me a lot. Everything you see, I bought it new. 483 bucks with tax for 1,000 pounds. Again, they call it the industry average and send an inventory list too. Their fine print says if Arlon doesn't fill it out, it'll be a flat rate. But he says no one explained that to him. So only once they have your stuff in the back of the truck, they then you have you sign something that says what? It weighs more. A flat rate of 2,950 pounds. In Toronto, I live in a big condo, and they're very specific with the timing. Like, if you have two hours to move, you have to finish moving. So I just sign anything just to get rid of them. <laughs> That new contract leads to a new bill, nearly three grand, almost six times the original estimate. Do you feel like you've been scammed? Um, I've been scammed. And get this, Artelon's invoice isn't from SafeBound, who he hired. It's Roadway Moving, the company we've hired. Hello? Hi, am I speaking with Amanda? So how's our move going? Just hours after pickup, Roadway calls with a new price. It would be uh, 32, 34, and 65 cents. They now want almost double their original quote. This is a lot more than what I was quoted. Pricing based on what they call a 4,000 pound flat rate, but we know that's not the true weight. Because we weighed it first. It's really a third of their claim. We have 1,280 pounds. We could bust them right here, but we want to see what happens next. I really need this stuff by tomorrow um, if I'm going to send this, this amount. Meanwhile, different movers are coming to Sherry's rescue. Her lawyer arranged to have them get her stuff back from SafeBound storage facility. What they find on the inside? It's disgusting, man. Rat shit everywhere in here. Doesn't look professional at all. They can't even get into these other bays to see what is what. But they look jammed. One of these movers describes what he sees. I've been doing this for 20 years. I've never seen anything like it. After so long, without so many important things, Sherry is hopeful as the trucks pull in. 
Sherry sees damaged items. She's not even sure everything is here as the truck empties. My daughter's jewelry. Can I ask what it is, Sherry? It's my daughter's confirmation jewelry and her baptism jewelry from, so it's very special to me. Coming up, as police raid the movers' warehouses, customers hope their prized belongings are inside. People like this should have to answer to the highest extent of the law. This is your marketplace. Toronto police are busting alleged scammers who run several national moving businesses. And we've been on their trail too. The move company bosses that we've been watching in our investigation taken away by a police investigation. Last winter, we hired the same movers after hearing complaints about them. All right, we're just like right behind it. A week after roadway movers picked up our stuff before almost doubling the estimated price of the move and delaying delivery. As the sun rises, we don't know what they're doing. Okay, so we are watching the truck. It's sort of directly below us right now, either doing another pickup or delivery. Two hours later, they hit the road. They've missed the turnoff for where they're supposed to deliver our stuff to. They pull up to this house in Knollville, start unloading into the garage. It's not our stuff. They're moving this woman's belongings, Darlene Sherrington. As we watch from a distance, a big surprise, the police arrive in unmarked vehicles. The movers don't seem to care. We catch up with Darlene later. Before he started to load up, he had this form, and he said, OK, sign here, sign here, sign here. That contract changes her industry standard quote for 1,000 pounds to a flat rate of 4,000. It means they won't go to a scale. On the highway going down to the Wellville, I get a call from the girl at the main office, wherever they are, she says, your bill now is $3,029. More than double what she's expecting. If it's not paid, we can't send the guys over with the truck. How did the police get involved? My husband turned around and said, no, so I'm calling the cops. What did the police say to you? They said, well, it pretty well looks about exactly what there should be in there. Are you saying the police believe the movers? <laughs> Do you think you've been taken advantage of? Can you afford to be taken advantage of? No. Oh. They shouldn't be doing this to old people or even young people. Hours after they told us to expect them, they finally arrive at our storage unit. Hello. How are you? Good. This side? Uh, so it's just right, it's that one right, uh, just down there. They start unloading the truck. We're here, hidden cameras rolling. Ooh. And seeing what they've smashed. Sorry about that, I didn't see that. I question them about our secret move. They charged this young woman a lot more than they said they were going to charge her. A lot more. How much? They charged her more than $3,000. They said this stuff weighs 4,000 pounds. No way. No way. No way it weighs 4,000 pounds? I don't think so. Honestly, I've been working for one for month here, but for, for my previous experience, I wouldn't say put up. After hearing from so many people, we need answers from the sole director of Safebound Moving. Doan, I'm David from CBC Marketplace. But Doan Shellick isn't getting out of his car. Doan, we're trying to figure out why it is that you repeatedly quote low and then charge high, many times more than the original estimate. We've been emailing Doan Chelik for weeks. He hasn't directly answered our questions, instead sending a statement saying he values his customers and promising a full review of operations. 
Can you help me understand my, this? I give my statement. No, on, we, we on don't email. have answers to the questions. There is no Why is any it you estimate comments. low and charge high? Why does that it's keep happening over and over? Everything is confirmation emails. And then everything I give on a statement to you guys, there is no any further comment. But for many that. of your customers think I, you're running a scam. I, I gave you guys this statement. So you guys better check it, read it. You we we have just, read it, um, but you haven't you answered cannot, the questions we've cannot, asked. Why do you estimate no low and charge high? That was our investigation. And this is just a few months later. Doe and Chelik under arrest, facing what will grow to hundreds of fraud and other criminal charges connected to dozens of customers. I was actually extremely surprised to find out it was the same individuals that I was investigating. It, it definitely reaffirmed my belief of what they were doing was a criminal offense. When investigators search the company's warehouses, they find customers' belongings, which police say have been held until more money is paid. Even the ashes of loved ones held for ransom. You know, all the officers that were there the day the search warrant uh, felt very good about actually giving good news in the sense of we have located your property. So those are movers that are showing up to rescue belongings. It takes days of work to return belongings to people like Marie Clark Walker. Let's see the box, let's see the box, let's see the opening. I chose them because they were already out in Ottawa. <laughs> this is what I, that's all I needed to see, the top of the Minnesota poster. She says the company All You Can Move quotes just over $700 yeah. for 2,500 pounds, but they then invoice her for just over 4,000. And what was their justification? Oh, they made all kinds of excuses. And then they said, well, no, she had 6,850 pounds worth of furniture. The things that were most important to me, it wasn't the couch and the four beds or whatever it was. It was those pictures, those mementos that I could never get back. When the officer called and said, we found your things, I was extremely, extremely happy. It just became a mantra. Oh, it's a civil issue. It's a civil issue. Lawyer Rocco Scocco, who represents more than a dozen former customers, is grateful action has finally been taken. I think it sends a message to other law enforcement agencies that you can prosecute this, you can lay the charges, you just have to look at it a little deeper, and you can't write off someone who's frantically calling you on the phone saying their goods are being held ransom. Rocco's been on their trail too, armed with lawsuits. I've had a lot of trouble serving them. They're very hard to find. But now he knows right where they are, just getting out of jail. He's there and so are we, looking for answers one more time. Do you have anything to say to these people? Anything at all? This is your marketplace. This is the aftermath of a police raid into movers accused of defrauding customers. They allegedly inflate the price only after picking up and leaving with customers' belongings. This is outside the offices of your moving company. It happened to Sherry, and we're showing her the bust. That's one of your move bosses. He's in handcuffs. <laughs> oh my gosh, as terrible as that is, that makes me so happy. What does it mean to you? Oh my gosh, maybe a little bit of justice. Um, I want to cry, actually. I hope that means maybe somebody will take the, what's happening seriously. It's definitely changed my life forever. What would you like to see have happen now? I would definitely like to see them um, at a business have to pay a retribution to all the families that they've hurt. Jamal Ozturk and Doan Chelik have been detained for six days since their arrest. None of the charges have been proven in court. This is just when they're making bail. And we're there looking for answers after a major development in our months-long investigation. Jamal is released first. Sir, you have uh, many people who allege that you've uh, ripped them off. Do you have anything to say to those people? Anything at all? Anything you would say to them at all? Mr. Ozturk, you're but you just saw there was um, 
Mr. Ozturk being served with uh, civil lawsuits. We reach out to the lawyers for both men and receive no comment, but we want to give Doe and Chellick the chance to speak too. Doe and I'm David Common with CBC News. Uh, since you've been arrested, dozens of people have come forward to say that you ripped them off, that your companies ripped them off. Do you have anything to say to these people who say that you ripped them off, sir? Anything at all? Anything that you would say to these people? Along with two others, Ozturk and Chelik now face more than 800 criminal counts. For moving companies on the wrong side of the law, police say the message is clear. We will investigate these. We will arrest you. Uh, we will seize your property. It's not over. Chelik and Ozturk get arrested again on new charges by another police department. It's clear they have a long legal road ahead.